We sing together, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. We confess our faith together with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For a time of prayer, I will say a few petitions and leave some time for silence for you to say uh, your own petitions silently or aloud wherever it is you are this day. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we gather this day, we gather amidst a community and communities that feel a bit chaotic. What is normal for us has been uprooted. As we seek new routines, we pray for those whose jobs have been impacted whose paychecks are lost or diminished. For those living now in places of loneliness and isolation, especially those in nursing homes. We pray for our medical workers and for first responders. We pray for all of those whose normal struggles of day to day continue even as we focus on a virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are being impacted by storms as they travel. We pray for all of those who continue to work, whether it be getting food into stores, making sure that supplies are where they need to be, are tending to our safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in need of healing. For Maggie, Carla, Skyler, Herman, Bobby and his wife, Karen, Lorraine and Bob, and these na names we now raise up to you.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for new life, for the birth of Isabella Ann, that she and her parents, Katie and Ryan, may even amidst the craziness of these days, get off to a wonderful start as a family of three. Be with all of the times that we still have yet to celebrate the new life that you bring among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we join with our siblings in Christ at Trinity Lutheran Church in Kissimmee to pray for congregations across our Senate without permanent pastors to minister to them. We thank you for the retired pastors who faithfully serve you and your people by traveling to these congregations to lead worship and provide care. We ask, Lord, that you raise up new leaders who desire to commit their lives to proclaiming your word and shepherding congregations so that your church will be equipped to reach the world with your message of love and peace in ways that only you can provide. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for all of your saints, Lord, and on this day we remember those who have commended loved ones into your care. We pray for the family and friends of Henry, of Jean, of Raphael, of Peterson, of Patty, of Bob, and of Jamie. Find them with your grace and your faith and your hope and your light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we lift all of these prayers up to you, trusting in your grace and in your grace alone. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now is a time where we gather up our offerings, giving back to God, what God has first given us. And this time of uh, cultural upheaval, if you are in need uh, and cannot give, we completely understand that. Uh, you can always email us at info at salemlc.net to see if there's any way that we can help. If you are able to give, uh, you can do that through our website at salemlc.net so that we continue to do our mission and ministry in this place.
We join together in singing our offertory song, Let the Vineyards Be Fruitful, Lord. Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, holy God, for by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness, called forth beauty from chaos, and brought life into being. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. By your word you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness. Forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O God, rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of the world in need. Faithful to your word, O God, draw near to all who call on you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We join together in singing, I love to tell the story. Story will be my. Friend. 
May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Check on your neighbors and your friends and make sure we are staying connected through this time of distancing. Thanks for being with us.